It's week 27 observed, so let's find out what he has this week, and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcha. If it's your first time here and you love Destiny and learning all things about the game, then subscribe and click on the bell, that way you guys don't miss out on anything. So, Xur is located on IO, let's get there real quick, by the Giant Scar, so we're gonna mark him and find out what he has this week. We Xur! What's up dude? Not the same. I am so like always, we're gonna start with the left hand side, weapon of the week is the Skyburner's Oath, this is an exotic scout rifle. Intrinsic perk on this is Slug Rifle, which this weapon fires solar slugs that get stronger when aiming down sights. Then we have Extended Barrel, Extended Mag for the Empire, which this weapon is full auto, does extra damage to Cabal, and penetrates Phalanx Shields. And last but not least, we have Short Action Stock. And like all exotics, this actually comes with a uh, weapon attack mod of plus 5. And the, or well, one of the um, ornaments is beware the red legion and this is what it actually looks like looks pretty cool now this scout rifle is actually part of the mita archetype but it is not as good as the mita in terms of aim assist so this is probably more so a good pve um, scout rifle versus a pvp scout rifle now i'm not saying you can't bring it in pvp because you can and it still does you know puts in work but this thing is better suited in pve so, I'm going to give this a tier 1.5 in PvE and probably a tier 2 to 2.5 in PvP. There are better scout rifles than this for PvP and I would probably recommend those instead. Next exotic we'll be going over is the Celestial Nighthawk for these wonderful hunters. You guys get one mobility as well as two resilience. I say you guys and yet I'm on my hunter. Uh, intrinsic perk on this is um, Hawkeye Hack, which modifies Golden Gun to fire a single high damage shot. Uh, enemies eliminated by the shot explode. Then we have Plasteel Reinforcement Mod, Restorative Mod, as well as Solar Paragon Mod. Now, just like the Skyburner's Oath, the Celestial, Hi the Celestial Nighthawk is probably a lot better in PvE than it is PvP. More so on those um, Nightfall, Strike, as well as Raid bosses. Not so good against ads. It does, it's, it's okay, but there are better exotics out there for the ads themselves. But if you just want to focus on the boss and actually get a lot of damage out, go ahead and definitely use this uh, in order to do so. And this also comes with a solo Paragon mod. I apologize for that. So, in PvE, I'm definitely, again, same rating as the Skyburner's Oath. It's going to get a 1.5 to uh, PvE. And I'm, I'm going to say a tier 3 instead for PvP. Because this, this really isn't that good in PvP unless you get all of your enemies lined up. And the chances of that happening are very slim to none. Next exotic we'll be going over is the Doomfang Pauldron for the Titan. This comes with two resilience and one recovery. In terms of perk on this is Horns of Doom, which shield bash melee kills recharge shield throw. Then melee ability kills recharge sentinel shield super. And then we have Plasteel Reinforcement mod, Restorative mod, and we also have Void Impact mod. Now this is definitely one of the better exotics out there for the Titan, especially when you're using your little Captain America subclass. Go ahead and grab this. This is good in PvE as well as PvP. Do not let me down. Grab this if you do not have it. It is definitely a tier 2 in PvE as well as PvP. So go ahead, grab this if you guys do not have it. Next exotic we're going over is the wonderful Wings of Sacred Dawn. For the Warlock, and this comes with three mobility and one recovery. Intrinsic perk on this is Tome of Dawn, which, when Dawnblade is equipped, aiming weapons while in midair suspends you there for a short time. Precision hits extend this effect's duration. Then we have Mobility Enhancement mod, as well as Restorative mod, and this actually comes with a Power Bracket mod. Now, as of right now, I am going to rate this a tier 3 in PvE as well as PvP. And th give me a second before you guys flip out. Being suspended in the air right now in Destiny 2 is not a good idea. 
Ads will destroy you. Team shotting will destroy you. PVE and PVP. It does not matter. Just being suspended in the air is not good in the current state of Destiny 2. However, once update 1.1.4 is actually live on March 27th, this might actually be a lot better. And if you guys don't know what that update is, I will put a little annotation in the top right of the screen right now. That way you guys can check that out. However, the Dawnblade is getting huge buffs. So this exotic might be worth getting. And <laughs> it might be worth using once update 1.1.4 is actually live. So with that said, go ahead and grab this anyways. But I am going to currently rate this a tier 3 in PvE as well as PvP. And I won't know how good it is until that update um, has actually released. But when it is, once it is released, I will do a uh, exotic review of the Wings of Sacred Dawn and let you guys know how that actually pans out um, once it's released. Next, we have your consumables. We have the Three of Coins, which gives you a chance to get an exotic um, for four hours. Not just one, it just gives you a higher chance. And last but not least, we have your wonderful Faded Engram. I really don't need this, and I'm not going to waste Legendary Shards, even though I don't have enough you know, to spend. Because I already have all the exotics in this game, and I'm not trying to at all, you know, brag. I'm just saying I already have them. And if you guys enjoy this Destiny 2 video, then feel free to watch these other two videos. You never know. You just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more, because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.